Welcome to Take Care guys, this is Sora of here and today I'm back with another uh, ROM installation tutorial and today I will be installing a new Lineage OS uh, ROM for the Redmi 3S or the 3S Prime. I'm currently on a Resurrection Remix and I'm on Marshmallow as well. So it is a Lineage OS uh, from a, another uh, developer. The download links will be in the description below. And guys, uh, the Android benchmarking score and the battery stats will be uploaded in our Facebook page and also in our Twitter account. So make sure you do like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. The links will be in the description as well. And for people who are uh, who are asking for TWRP ring, do watch the video of how to root Redmi 3S Prime the links will be also in the description and yes you can easily get the TWRP link from there on so we have to wipe out everything like we all do and uh, then we have to go back and in this case we also have to flash the uh, you know G apps open G apps so here is the uh, build name guys here is the ROM file 2017 uh, 10th of January so it's very recent and yes we'll flash this in this way there are a few bugs that I will be showing you and one more thing uh, the bug that all people were ha having issues with the data on off bug the data on off bug is not in here well it is pretty stable in case of that well now we have to install the OpenG app so yes it is still on Marshmallow and I have to install the ARM64 6.0 uh, series and any variant you want Pico Micro your choice I'm again telling you guys the data on off bug which were there in previous builds is not in here so in case of that who, who have very much big issue with data on off automatic data on off so yeah you can easily use this build but the bugs are in the actually camera section so i will be seeing why well, i will be showing you that in a later on so make sure you watch this video till the end so it is optimizing the whole rom and now we are back with the cyanogen mod or android home screen it's still saying it's cyanogen mod but it's actually now lineage os so Anyways, continuing the legacy. Well, guys, uh, I have to give it my pattern, then my fingerprint, maybe. So let's check what it does. Well, it is asking for my fingerprint, and the fingerprint sensor does work without any issue. I'm done with it now. All the stuff that we do, I want, I want to show you them. So here we are in the Android home screen. So default cyanogen, as we as it looks like in here, audio effects is there and right now in the very first thing that yes it is downloading that female for english thing well location is turned off just playing with the brightness well uh now we are in the settings menu and about phone section we can see that runs on the android version 6.1 and 6.0.1 and also has got a build date of a very recent build date so that's a pretty good guys now coming to the build number we have to enable the developer section and developer op settings so in the case of developer options we get the advanced reboot, all the default cyanogen things. Well, guys, the Pico DTS has some issues. Well, apps, uh, root access, all the things that we do. So this is all. Now coming back to a few more things that I love to show you, that which is the memory management. We get around two gigs of free RAM on the very first boot. That amazing. That is really amazing. In the last build, I got around 1.9 GB. So yeah, two GB free on the very first boot is very good. Let's check whether the theme app working or not. So I'm changing to a new theme. And it worked and guys i will give you all all the necessary links in the description if you find any bug and if, if you're using this rom and find any bug uh, do let the, the developer know and do go to that link and tell the developer that we are facing that bug so whenever he comes with a new build you will get an, uh, a more stable build and all those problems that you faced might be sorted out so yeah so now coming to the volti yes so i will be uh, you know i will be calling someone and let's check whether the volti works or not So yeah guys, yeah guys, Volti works, I was on my Wi-Fi, so yeah, I didn't open the Reliance Geo's app, so Volti does work without any hassle. So now in camera, where the all the bugs are actually here, well, I will be have to tap on a, uh, you know, I hope you have watched this, that when I tap on the, uh, you know, click button, it took two to three seconds, then it captured the picture. That's the bug actually, and sometimes the camera app force closes, and well like uh, it will happen very soon I, I know that 
well you know yes look at this unfortunately camera has stopped and uh, this uh, auto closing this force closing thing is not in camera mx another uh, camera app, but the thing is here like you have you press you just press the uh, you know shutter button and then it, it takes around two to three minutes then it captures the picture the bug is still on in camera mx and now now just check whether uh, it does support you know camera re video recording or not so let's see whether what happens here and uh well guys uh i hope you have looked at I, I hope you have watched this that there is a stuttering and this is the issue that i got from uh from also camera mx and not in default uh video player also it happened in the mx player so this is the bug this is actually the bug the camera force closes pictures taking time to be get clicked and the video has some frame drops issue major frame drops issue so i i hope that the build uh, the developer will come with a more stable build uh you know sorting out all the problems so this is all for today guys do like this video if you want do dislike if you think we still stuck but do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and other videos will be in the description if you check that till then bye people have a great day hope to see my next video bye bye now